calculus chapter 4 basic differentiation video part uh, 2 and uh, I want to apologize because uh, last uh, video part 1 I had some problems with the tablet so it's it was stopped functioning and uh, uh, let's start uh, let's continue what we started last time uh, example 6 we were doing the power rule uh, example number 6 which is uh, uh, x e y equal x power 0 x power 0 is 1 right if x not equal 0 for sure we have condition here x should not equal to 0 x power 0 is equal to 1 this implies the derivative is equal to 0 or we can apply the same rule right we can apply the same rule which is um, let's uh, say again y equal x power 0 this implies that y prime equal 0 multiplied with x to the power 0 minus 1 which is equal to 0 over x power 1 for x not equal 0 that is equal to 0 now rule number 2 if y equal x which is we did it here in uh, uh, example 5 then dy to the x which is the derivative is equal to 1 rule number 3 if y equal kx constant multiplied with x then the derivative is equal to k just the constant right is equal to the constant itself because x power 1 is equal to 1 the derivative and what left is the k or 1 times k to the power times x to the power 0 which is x power 0 is 1 what left is k rule number 4 if y equal constant then the derivative is equal to 0 and it is like example number 6 let's continue example number 7 y equal x 8 <coughs> uh, times x power 4 this implies that y prime is equal to 32 x to the power 3 right 4 times 8 32 x to the power 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 same here it's 500 100 times 5 x to the power 99 and this is y prime dy to the x over here simple it's uh, y prime minus 5 times minus 3 is 15 x to the power minus 5 minus 1 which is minus 6 be careful some students directly they put minus 4 right it's minus 5 minus 1 to the power n minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 is uh, power minus 6 right let me just scroll all right <clears throat> and uh, let's continue example number 10 uh, f of x equal y, 7 x power half so f prime of x equal 7 times a half x to the power x to the power uh, half minus 1 which is minus half is 7 divided by 2 7 times 1 7 right divided by 2 x power minus half goes down to x power half and it's better to write it rewrite it in this way 2 x power half is just a radical x all right uh, example 11 uh, y equal all right here we have also a condition because x should be positive in this case right to 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 put it to rewrite this fractional exponent as as uh, a radical sign because it, the index is two radical ha power half is index two right so it should be positive number uh, y equal x times radical 15 this is as kx right the rule that says k constant number multiplied with x so the derivative is directly the constant number and this is y equal constant number the derivative is directly zero now another rule which is the addition rule right addition rule says what <clears throat> the addition rule if y equal a times x power n plus b times x power m where a and b are constants then dy to the x is a we leave this number outside right and what is the derivative of x power n constant we leave it as it is and then we do this derivative which is n times x to the power n minus 1 and b we leave it outside and x power m the derivative is m times x b power uh, uh, m x to the power m minus 1 okay let's apply it over here it's fast so y prime is equal to 12 x to the power 3 plus uh, 80 x to the power 9 I'm just thinking of something 
Sorry, y equal 7x to the power minus 4 plus 5x to the power minus half. 7 we leave it 7. And then, oh, okay, let, let me apply it as the rule first. 7 we leave it 7. And then we do the derivative of mine of 4x power minus 4, which is minus 4 times x to the power minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5, right? Plus minus plus 5 we leave it alone because it's the constant. And then we multiply with the derivative of x power minus half which is minus half times x to the power minus half plus one, which is equal to half. And then we can change it to minus y prime equal minus 28x to the power minus five minus five divided by two x to the power half. If x is, if okay, we can rewrite it this way, y prime equal minus 28 over x to the power five minus five over two, radical x where x is a positive number <clears throat> all right let's see this one okay uh, example number 15 let me see if uh, how much time we still have i okay let's see uh, yeah we still have time uh, let me uh, just have a, a little space first. Okay, I, I will erase those. Okay, let me go to number. We, we did until an, uh, example number 14, right? We did until example number 14. So let me uh, uh, start number 15 now. Number 15, y equal. 5x to the power 4 into 2 minus x to the power 3. We know that uh, to do so, uh, we, we can expand this, right? We can expand this. Otherwise, we have to uh, do the uh, multiplication formula, right? Which is u times v. Let me do it in both cases. We are <coughs> going to explain more about u times v, right? As, uh, as uh, multiplication formula right let me uh, first expand this one right okay implies that let me start over here uh, y equal 5x to the power 4 multiplied with the 2 minus x power 3 which is an identity cube the first minus 3 times square the first will be 12 times the second plus 3 times square 3 times the first is 6 times square of the second minus cube of the second, right? And then we can expand that. It will be equal 40 x to the power 4 minus 60 x to the power 5 plus 30 uh, x to the power 6 minus 5 x to the power 12, uh, x to the power 7, sorry, right? x to the power 7. So what is y prime in this case? It's 4 times 40, 160 x cubed minus 5 times 60, it's 300 x to the power 4, plus 6 times 30, 180 x cubed, and minus 5 times 7, it's 35 x to the power 6. Or we can do what? Or we can expand, uh, uh, instead of expanding, we can consider this as u and this as v. And u dot v, what is the derivative of u dot v? Derivative of the first one, which is u prime v, plus u times v prime, right? Derivative of the first one is 20x cubed, right? Times v as it is, 2 minus x cubed, plus the u, we leave it as it is, and times the derivative of the second one. How to derive this? This is 3, right? Times 3, let's say, multiplied with, 2 minus x to the power 3 minus 1, it's 2. And then we multiply with the derivative of this, which is minus 1. Okay, if we expand this answer, we're going to get this one. We're going to talk about that later. So let's do it this way this time and leave this to the other time. I don't think so. We still have time. Maybe 10 seconds. Let me directly do this one, this example. Ah, okay, we, we have example 16 first. Okay, so leave it to another. <clears throat> See you next video.